everybody, my name's Ian and welcome to From Beginner to Band, where we start simple, build confidence and make progress. And in today's lesson, we'll be looking at how to play guitar for beginners. So if you've just bought a guitar, or you're thinking about buying a guitar, you've got no idea what to do or where to start, in today's lesson, we'll be sharing with you how to play your first simple melody and your first simple chords. And if you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe below and hit notifications and let me know what you're working on, what you find difficult, and how I can help you in my next few tutorials. Also, stick around to the end of the lesson where I will be sharing with you my three top songs to learn as a beginner guitar player that's gonna help you take your next few steps. Okay, so let's go. Okay, sitting position. How should you sit with a guitar? Okay, so if, if you've got an acoustic guitar, get the curve of the body here to sit on your leg. So I'm right-handed and I'll just um, give these examples for right-handed person. Obviously if you're left-handed, just switch it over. So get the curve of the guitar to sit on your right leg. Try not to have the, the guitar coming straight across your body so the, the headstock of the guitar is straight to your left-hand side. Try and angle with the guitar so the head the headstock and the neck come over your left knee. And this is slightly more comfortable and it balances better. Okay, so the guitar doesn't balance that well like this. Okay, the guitar or the guitar neck comes over your left knee. Now, points of contact are obviously the leg. Bring it in against your body to touch your body and then put your elbow on the top of the guitar, not on the front of the guitar, like that. And then a great thing to do next is just place your thumb on the sixth string. So the thin one on the guitar is string one and the thick one is string six. That's the bass string, string six. And you should be able to wave at the crowd. Okay. And the guitar's balanced like that. Okay. Once you've done that, just strum your thumb across the strings and make your first sound. Now really importantly, don't let the neck start to angle towards the floor because it's gonna make it more difficult to play to reach down. Make sure that the, the neck of the guitar is basically parallel to the floor. If it comes up a little bit, that's even better. So you can um, you know, just raise your right leg a little bit to bring the guitar up. Um, if you're a youngster, try and get a, a chair where your feet are flat on the floor. Um, if your legs are sloping down towards the floor, the guitar is gonna sort of slope off like that away from you. So that's not ideal. Okay, so that's the sitting position covered. Okay, now we're gonna talk about your right and left hand techniques. What should we do with our right and left hands? So your strumming hand, so your right hand, a great way to start is, so we've got the guitar balanced in our sitting position. We're gonna put the thumb on the sixth string and we're gonna put these fingers on the what I call the treble strings. So take finger one, your index finger, and count down string one, two, three. Second finger, I'm gonna count down strings one, two, and your ring finger is gonna count onto string one. Your little fingers gets left out, okay? This is a brilliant way just to um, set up on the guitar, and I call this my the default uh, setup position, your default right hand position. From here, you can strum, <laughs> You can finger pick the strings and you can then play with this alternating finger technique which is very um, common for playing scales and melodies. Okay, So from this default right hand position you can do everything. So what are the tips here? So we've rested our thumb on the low sixth string and index, middle and ring fingers on the last three strings. Try not to get the thumb to tuck underneath. One common thing I see with my students is the fingers start to slide away um, to your left hand side um, and the thumb kind of comes un underneath. So try and avoid that. Slide your fingers to your right and your thumb to your left. And then you've got a better, you can see that. So my, my hand and my thumb sort of flat on to the body of the guitar like that. Okay, my thumb comes into the side of my first finger. Try not to let the hand slip away, uh, um, fall away like that. And try not to rest the fingers on the body of the guitar. Okay, so that is your default right hand position. 
Okay, left hand position, what do you do with the left hand? So ideally you keep the thumb at the back of the neck like this. And you take your first finger and you just press onto a string. Let's take fret three, for example. And you just pinch the, pinch the guitar between your thumb and your first finger. Okay. Try not to bring the thumb over and also don't put your thumb like that, which again I see a few of my students do when they first pick up the guitar. So bring the thumb into the middle like that and just have a nice hole here. You've got a nice sort of loop shape here um, rather than like that. Okay, so that's how you press a note down with the left hand. Okay. Okay, now we're going to look at how to play your first melody and with the first string. Now a lot of guitar players when they first start out they'll try and play chords and you might have taken another lesson where you try to play big chords like that on the guitar. I think this is too difficult to start off with and I think the, the easiest way to start off on the guitar is to play a melody and play up and down one string. Okay, When you do this you are learning how to press down correctly on a string and get a nice clean sounding note. When you try and play chords, you need to play three fingers or two fingers and get a clean sounding note from three fingers. That's going to be more difficult. So why not start off trying to play just one finger and press down and get a nice clean sounding note and then you can make progress. Remember, we start simple, we build confidence and then we make progress. So this is going to give you confidence that yes, you can play the guitar, you can press down a note to make it sound good and then you can move on and play with two fingers or three fingers and make those sound good as well. Okay, so what we're going to do with the right hand, we've looked at our default right hand position and now we're just going to take our first finger and play that first string. Okay. Now, now what you can practice is play each string eight times. Five, six, seven, eight, and then go on to string two and play that eight times. Okay. So you can stop the lesson now and just practice that for a couple of minutes, just doing, you could do string one, string two, and string three. Okay. Once you've done that, how about using both fingers? So we play the same string, but with the index finger, then the same string with the middle finger. Okay, we call that alternating fingers or walking fingers on the string. Okay, again, do this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then move on to the next string. Let's play a little bit slower. Always start slowly. Six, seven, eight. Okay, now just so you can see this a bit better, the fingers move back towards my elbow, not towards my shoulder. So don't try, don't get this sort of uh, motion or angle. You want to go back across the string, back towards the elbow. Okay, so just to recap, you do that eight times on string one, eight times on string two, eight times on string three. So stop the video now and do that for a couple of minutes. Okay. Now then. Okay, so you've done that and you've just practiced your alternative fingers. Now we're gonna use the left hand to create a little melody. So let's play open string. This is open string one. Then let's try and play up to fret seven and push that note down. Okay. Now when you push, so count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place your finger in the middle of the fret or the space. Don't put the finger to the back of the fret, I call it. This will be close to fret six. You get a buzzy sound. And don't place the finger on top of the metal wire, which is called the fret wire, and that gives you a dull sound. So it wants to be in the middle of the fret. And even better, slightly towards you, so I call this the front of the fret. So I can still see a fraction of a gap between my finger, if you can see that, and the fret wire here. So this is the middle of the fret, this is the back of the fret, don't play there. So play in the middle of the fret or slightly at the front of the fret. Okay.
Okay, so we're going to play two open strings and then two at fret seven. Now you can go where you like now, and I call this exploring the guitar. So you can just spend sort of five minutes playing an open string, go into a seventh fret, back to an open string, maybe up to fret nine. Okay. Go back to fret seven again. Always go back to the open string because it gives you a little bit of a, a rest from your fingers. Maybe follow the dots. Go back to um, go back, go to fret five. Now, a nice melody would be to add in fret four and then fret two. Okay, so you've got a nice melodic melody there. So we could play, like for example, let's play open seventh fret open and then to fourth fret then fifth fret fourth fret second fret open okay nice simple easy melody let's do that again so open seventh fret back to the open fourth fret now to fifth fret fourth fret second fret and you can hear we're playing two times on each string. So give that a go. You can play that on any string. So you could play that on the second string, seventh fret, seventh, fourth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret, open. So try that on string three, even string four with your alternating fingers. So that's a brilliant way of creating your first melody and even creating your own melody. Okay, next up, your first few chords. So I like to call these mini chords. And amazingly, you can play the last three strings of the guitar. And that forms an E minor chord, okay? So just get your thumb and let the thumb fall from strings three, two, and one. That's an E minor chord. You can even play a G chord from strings four, three, and two. G major to E minor. Okay. So as we've said before, we start simple and we build confidence and we make progress. So this is easy, right? This is easier than trying to play these big chord shapes that you know you might have tried in the past and struggled with. Why don't we play something simple? We've just played a melody, we've learned how to push down our fingers. And now we can play a simple open chord. So it's G major, 4, 3, 2, E minor, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's add some fingers now. Let's add our first finger to fret 3, string 1. Again, push down. Again, push down near the edge of the fret there. And we're going to do 3, 2, 1. This gives us what I call a mini G chord. So now we can play E minor four times. Then our mini G four times. Okay, let's find another chord we can play with one finger. Fret two, one, two, and then string three. One, two, three. Okay. play the last three strings again so three two one now this string on acoustic guitar is slightly harder to push down so if you're at the back of the fret you're gonna get a muddy sound or a dull sound in the middle sounds pretty good even better slightly um, at the front of the fret like I mentioned before in case you can see that there right at the front of the fret so now then yours might sound like this Fine. That's how everybody sounds at the first attempt. Now, let's just work on this first note. Get it to sound nice. And then, if the next string is muted out, we're going to have to just change the angle. You can see that. Change the angle of the finger to this. So from there, go to there. 
and that's going to help you. Let's just try that. From from that to that. Okay, that's the technique that you need to play this chord correctly. So we're going to second string, first string, third string, second string, first string. Now the brilliant thing about playing this mini chord, again, this is teaching you the correct finger placement to play your bigger chords because each finger that you play with will need this um, accuracy and this angle. Now you can even try it with different fingers, second finger, even the third finger to get your fingers to practice this technique. So this is called A sus2. Oops, A sus2, there we go. So we've also, so to recap, we've learned G major, four, three, two, we've learned E minor, uh, three, two, one, we've learned mini G, three, two, one, with the first finger at fret three, string one. This is A sus2, with the first finger, this is at fret two, string three. Okay, let's learn another one. Take the first finger and move it to fret one. We've got E major, three, two, one. Again, yours might sound like this. Just work on getting that note to sound clean. And then open string, open string. I'm touching the guitar with my fingers here. That's fine when we're just strumming with the thumb. Just let the thumb fall through the strings. Don't put any um, resistance on the thumb there. Let, let, let the thumb fall. Okay. So there's E major. Here's a trickier one now. This is C major. We're going to put our first finger at the first fret, second string, and we play string three, string two, and string one. Okay? Again, yours might sound like this. Angle the finger until you get the first string to ring clean. Okay? So you've actually learned probably how many chords there. We've got G major, four, three, two, E minor, three, two, one, mini G. We've got A sus2, we've got E major, we've got C major. Up, there we go. So there's one finger chords. That's the easiest way to play your chords. So you could strum four times on each one and make up your own little song and pattern. Let me go back to E minor, add in A sus2. And e. This is what I did at the start of the video, these chords. Okay. Okay, what about two finger chords? Okay, so let's add in first finger here and third finger here. Okay, let's, so you can see that. So let's look at the third finger now. So it's fing, uh, fret three, one, two, three, and string two. First finger is fret two, one, two, and string three. Okay, and again, we're going to strum through st strings three, two, and one. It was much sound like this. Again, just work on both these strings. Remember the angle of the finger for both fingers, and then the open string will be left by itself. That's D sus2. Another two finger chord, we can put the first finger onto string four on the second fret and the second finger underneath it and play those two notes. Okay, to show you that. Fret two, string four, fret two, string three. Okay. And wanna strum through. So strings two and string one are open. We can even strum from string five. That's called A sus two, that's the big A sus two chord. And then we could actually move this shape down um, and play on string five and string four. And then we've got an E minor chord. Okay, let me show you that one. So my first finger is at string five and my second finger is underneath on string four, both in the second fret. So just to recap, there's a first few chords that you can play on the guitar. So we've got open G major, four, three, two, open E minor, three, two, one, mini G, A sus two, 
E major, C major. Two finger chords, D sus two, A sus two, and E minor. Okay? So play around with those chord shapes and hopefully that's helped you find your first few chords on the guitar. Okay, so I mentioned at the start of the tutorial my three favorite songs to learn as a beginning guitar player. And we're gonna look at a song with a melody, a song with some chords and a song with a riff. So my first favorite song as a melody is I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz and you can find the full tutorial here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play the open string with our alternating fingers and we play I won't give up on us. So that was fret four, fret two, and fret and the open string on string one. Okay? If you don't know the song, check out the song, check out the chorus, come back to this and you'll listen, you'll hear the melody. So I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. lyrics <laughs> but that's the melody so check out I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz you can play that on string one okay really easy alternating fingers one string to play on okay now then what's my favorite song to play for chords Three Little Birds by Bob Marley you can use the our A sus 2 chord for the A we can use the D sus 2 chord for the D and we can use the mini E chord for the E so you can play Bob Marley, Three Little Birds, with those three chord shapes. A, sus two, D sus two, and E major, okay? Okay, so my third favorite song to learn on the guitar as a beginner, and this is a riff, and this is called The Peter Gunn Theme by uh, Henry Mancini. And I've also got another tutorial on this, so follow the link here. So uh, the Peter Gunn Theme goes like this. We play with the thumb, we rest our fingers on the, um, the strings like we did earlier in the lesson, get our default hand position, play with our thumb two times the open string, once on fret two, back to the open, once on fret three, back to the open, once on fret five, and then to fret four. So that's open, open, second, open, third, open, five, four. So again, follow the full tutorial on the link above. Now, as a big thank you for watching, I've got a free PDF download, which is gonna show you my favorite 10 songs to learn as a beginner guitar player. So click the link below, and that's gonna show you a couple of more melodies, and my favorite songs with the chords, and a couple more riffs that's gonna get you going. And that's in tab and chord diagram form. So click the link below, and have fun with that. Please comment, like, and subscribe hit the notifications, let me know what you're working on and how I can help you in my next few tutorials. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.